Today, I'm going to talk about the EIDL loan, EIDL, Economic Injury Disaster Loan. I did a video about this back in April, and it got over 175,000 views. Well, some things have happened recently, which uh, it might make sense now for some of us, myself included, to consider getting the EIDL loan. So I'm going to cover what's involved in getting the loan, um, answer some questions, and then stick around. At the end of the video, I'll tell you whether I decided to move forward or not. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Flying the colors of uh, The Rideshare Guy. All right. Let's get into some background. So I, I made a video back in April, and I got a lot of positive feedback, such as this one. Hey, Jay. I've uh, been driving sporadically for Uber and Lyft in San Francisco since 2014. Followed Henry, Harry, whatever, around the net. I just wanted to thank you for the useful info you put on YouTube. Uh, if I didn't see your vids, I wouldn't have gotten the 1K grant from the SBA and the EIDL loan I needed. It never dawned on me for a second. Thanks, bud. So, um, so thank you for that. And I really appreciate when you guys give me that kind of feedback. That's really awesome. Makes me feel good. Um, two things have happened. First thing, the uh, fat $600 payments have stopped, right? So uh, a lot less money, 2,400 or so less dollars per month is coming in. Some of us may be getting a little strapped. The other thing that happened if you're a California driver is there's a very good chance Uber and Lyft are skipping town, right? As you can see here, Uber CEO says its service will probably shut down temporarily in California if it's forced to classify drivers as employees. And then John Zimmer of Lyft, if our efforts here are not successful, it would force us to suspend operations in California, Zimmer said on a call. Fortunately, California voters can make their voices heard by voting yes on Prop 22 in November. So, uh, the unemployment is, is dried up and the opportunity to drive for Uber and Lyft in a big state like California may be drying up. So that's the background. So number one, what the heck is the EIDL loan? All right, you've heard of the PPP loan and the EIDL loan, all right? So I put together this cheat sheet. The uh, EIDL loan, Economic Injury Disaster Loan. It's provided by the Small Business Administration, so you don't have to go through a third-party company or a bank to get it. Uh, you just apply online. Unlike the PPP, it's not based on your 2019 taxes. The amount you can borrow is based on your application, and they do a credit check. You will see a credit check inquiry on your uh, credit report. It's a 30-year loan. The first year, uh, you don't make any payments, no interest. Then it goes to 3.75%, which is a, that's a very good uh, low rate for a loan, especially when you compare that to what credit cards charge for you to get money, right? Um, uh, it is not forgivable like the PPP. So in other words, even if you pay yourself with this loan money, uh, that loan is not going to be forgiven. And it is available for independent contractors, all right? So uh, this is definitely something you want to consider uh, if you need an infusion of cash quickly. Okay, so number two, what is the EIDL funds for? You can't just spend it on anything that you want. You got to spend it on your business. So I took this from the uh, uh, SBA website. What we see here, it says, SBA's EIDL program offers long-term low interest assistance for a small business or nonprofit. These loans can provide vital economic support to help alleviate temporary loss of revenue. That's exactly the situation many, many drivers are in. EIDL assistance can be used to cover payroll, okay, so paying yourself, and inventory, pay debt, or fund other expenses. Um, and then it says, uh, additionally, uh, it talks about the advance, but the advance is no longer available, okay? So number three, can you still apply for an EIDL loan? Well, the answer is yes. Yes, you can. What you see here, it says notice, and I just pulled this yesterday from the uh, sba.gov website. Notice, now accepting new applications for COVID-19 economic injury disaster loans. All right. Um, 
So you can go uh, to sba.gov and apply right away. However, the $1,000 per employee uh, grant, the free money is no longer available. They ran out of those funds. Okay, so number four, how do you apply? Well, just go, you, all you need to do is really Google uh, SBA EIDL loan application, and that'll take you to the right page. Um, and it looks like this, okay? It says disaster loan assistance, all right? Streamlined process requirements, eligible entity verification. What I would recommend you do is go and find my video, and I'll put a link to it below, below this video, uh, in which I went step by step through the exact um, application process. So you can watch that and then go through and do it yourself, all right? So check out that video, and that'll give you the step by step instruction. But the good news is you can still apply, all right? Okay, number five, I'm calling number five buyer beware, right? This is a loan and you're, you're getting a loan from the government and they expect you to pay it back. Okay, in doing my research, I came upon this guy's uh, uh, video. Uh, this is a, a, an account called Succeed REI. I'll put a link to this also below the video. Um, and uh, this is uh, attorney explains EIDL contract documents, detailed overview of loan terms. And this is a 50 minute video, okay? So if you really want to know exactly what you're getting into, then you should watch a video like this. All right. Um, the short version is um, if you own anything and you're not paying it back, they're going to take everything you got. So uh, make sure you manage your money properly. This is not free money and you're making a deal with the devil and uh, just just, you know, pay it back. Just plain number six. What if you already applied and you got the grant? Can you still go and get the loan? Well, the answer is yes. So what you need to do is go into your emails and you received an email that looks something like this, okay? It says, important reminder about your SBA economic injury disaster loan application. And uh, where it says create account, you just wanna click on create account. And then this will take you to this page. And on this page, you can see exactly what size of a loan you you uh, qualify for so in my case it's i can go between a thousand to fifty eight thousand three hundred and if you look at the terms you can see my my monthly payment starting in month 13 would be 285 dollars per month and that again is a 30-year term so that's not you know that's not going to be difficult to maintain if you wanted to stretch that out over 30 years course you could just have the money for a year right and just have it as a backup and then uh because uh, we don't know what the economy is going to do we don't know what's going to happen right just as like a security and then so what are my key takeaways i say go for it i'm going for it i'm going for the whole 58.3 because it's it's a, a security blanket i can think of some things i could do with that money um to better my life and 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 um, make more money with the money, right? So um, if you find yourself a little bit strapped or, or not feeling too secure, you just want a little peace of mind, um, go for it. It's available there. It's super easy if you've already applied and gotten the, the grant. And if you haven't, go watch my video. It'll show you exactly how to uh, apply. It only took about 15 minutes, really. And, um, and then you're on your way. All right. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, sign up for notifications. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Jay Crater saying have a great day and be safe out there.